All right, guys, how you guys doing? Hey, I want to make some pickled eggs today. I'm going to do some pickled eggs, some pickled eggs and sausage and whatever using Frank's Red Hot. Oh, my gosh. My sister was just in town, uh, and she had a lot of fun visiting our farm and stuff for the first time, our little homestead here. Uh, but she tried a pickled quail egg that we have in the fridge, and she, you know, scrunchy face. She thought she was going to hate it, and she ate it, and she was like, huh, that's pretty good. Uh, and so she ended up liking that. I think she ended up having a couple. And then she said that her favorite hot sauce was Frank's. And I got to thinking, what about pickled eggs with Frank's hot sauce? Because I did the other video. Oh, what was that? Spicy pickled sausage, I think. Uh, and that used Texas peat hot sauce, I believe. Anyways, we got some of our chicken eggs here. We've got some of our duck eggs here. And I've got a couple different kinds of sausages. A couple different kinds. And we're going to... Pickle it all and see how Frank's hot sauce, Frank's hot sauce pickled eggs is going to be. Come on, let's go do it. Okay, so we're just going to use eggs. A uh, couple of the jars, we'll put some sausage in, uh, onions, and Frank's red hot sauce, and of course, vinegar. Um, I always like to dilute my vinegar a little bit. Um, it's just how I roll, I guess. And we're going to probably end up having, I'm just going to guess, three, three quarts worth here, possibly. Uh, so I'm going to do, I did a cup of water. I'm going to do, I don't know, what, two, two cups of vinegar? Um, three cups of vinegar. And then... We're really gonna load on. We're really gonna load up the Franks. That's actually a cup even right there. And look at that, nice reusable bottle. Oh, I love it. Uh, actually, we might run into a problem here. Okay, I think we're gonna actually do uh, two cups because that makes more sense to me. I forgot, we also have our pickling spice. We're gonna put in, I don't know, about about two tablespoons. This is not anything I'm like super concerned about here. Okay, next I'm gonna go take this over and I'm gonna get this boiling. Um, we're gonna bring it to a boil and let it boil for, for a couple minutes. That hot sauce is gonna be a real treat in the house here boiling. I remember that from last time. So, oh gosh, this is gonna be so good. I forgot garlic. We got some garlic here that's getting dried out pretty good. Uh, still perfectly fine to use for this, but uh, we're gonna throw at least a clove in the bottom of each uh, jar. Actually, it looks like more than more than a clove. I don't really worry too much about garlic going bad. It just kind of gets dried out and can get kind of gross feeling. All right, so let's see. We'll start with these two. Uh, throw that garlic in there. God, we, we, love, we love garlic. Love it. Okay, throw that in there. Uh, throw some onion. Start off with some onion in there. Uh, let's see. Do a chicken egg, a duck egg, a chicken egg, a duck egg, chicken, duck. This one is gonna be pretty much straight uh eggs just i really wanted to do this with frank's hot sauce for my sister so uh hopefully she'll see this video and get inspired to do so <laughs> all right so we're just going to be waiting to put the boiling brine into that one. Oh, you know what i should have done darn it i should have layered some more onions in there too
I can hear the brine over there getting ready to boil. I feel like I'm... Okay, we'll call that one good. This one, getting eggs and sausage. These are two different kinds of sausages also. I wonder if I should keep that in consideration. Actually, that's not what I wanted to do. I really need to use up some sausage. If I don't use up all these hard boiled eggs, no big deal. Kids love taking them for lunches and stuff, but I would like to use up the sausage. Which, I don't have to do that either. They go really good into, into an omelet or something later. Okay. There's another one. All right, hey, I just remembered, on these sausages like this, um, if they come with a natural, or they come with no casing, you don't have to worry about it. If they come with a casing, you need to peel that off. And on one of these, I had to, and I think it was this one, I had to peel off another casing. It'll, that casing will just come out, uh, if, it goes, if it goes through the pickling process, it'll just come out like rubber. So... Um, let's see a little bit more there we go so what I have going over here is this has been boiling now for oh it's been boiling for about five minutes or so uh, I'm going to scoop off some of this seasoning and just put it in there I also have this in hot water because uh, I don't want to just dump boiling liquid into these jars and have them crack or something plus Remember in the last video, I made a pretty good mess. So I'm going to try and get a lot of this evenly distributed. I, I'm not real worried about it. I'm just kind of doing it. Okay. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Now there might be a there might be enough in here to do a pint real quick. Okay. The other thing about the jars is the, the eggs themselves and the sausage are cold. They've been in the fridge for days. Perfect. And there's some more seasonings on the bottom. Get those in there. Distribute those a little bit. Okay. About 10 days, video magic here in about two seconds, but about seven to 10 days, we'll, we'll do a taste test. One other quick note, when these cool off, probably in a couple hours, uh, I will go ahead and have them, I'll store them in the fridge. They'll be in the fridge for the next seven to 10 days. All right. All right, taste testing time. Um, I took an egg out of the one of the uh, eggs and sausage, and I took an egg out of just the egg one and uh, we're gonna give a taste test it's only been about a week I really recommend waiting a bit longer but we just can't wait can we so uh, we're gonna have all the kids try some and see how they like it uh, faith may or may not be in this little video clip but we'll see and and look how nice those yolks came out too holy moly <laughs> All right, let me get these cut up for a little taste test. Okay, so Faith has already tried this, and I will let you guys know what she thinks, or I'll let her tell you separately here in a little bit. Um, she and I actually, she and I cheated. We had one earlier. Uh, so um, why don't you guys take a piece of sausage first and see if you like it. This is, again, with the Frank's hot sauce. Well, you guys are in video land, so like everything just happened two minutes ago. Mm. So you know exactly what's going on. Mmm. 
That's got some heat, but it's really good. Spicy. Grace, do you think it's spicy? A little bit. A little bit? Like, okay. It gives you some heat right at the beginning, but other than that, it's not too bad. Okay, and so then I, I dipped, a, I poured a little bit of the vinegar and hot sauce out onto the plate to actually like dunk the egg in a little bit to get a good flavor because I'm thinking what I might do with all the eggs that are left in here, I might poke holes in them so that the, the, the vinegar and hot sauce can continue to penetrate into the egg. So go ahead, take an egg and try it, Andrew. Um, is this just a little bit? Yeah, it doesn't matter. The, this one was in a brine with sausage. This one was in the brine without sausage. So I, I don't I think it's really going to matter egg one. flavor wise. I'll let you taste it first. <laughs> good. Gracie Pants, what do you think? Mm, it's good. Okay, well these are okay for you guys to start taking in lunches if you want. If you want to pack when you pack your lunch tomorrow, because I already packed it today. I'm going to pack one for you Tuesday because I'm going to the dentist, so I won't have lunch at school. Okay. okay. This girl, off note of this video, loves going to the dentist. I but love it. it. I don't care for it too much. You don't care for the egg too much, but the, what about the sausage? I like the sausage. Sausage is good. Yes, Andrew, you're liking this. Yes. You are liking it. All right. Faith, we already taste tested some earlier today. We cheated, didn't we? Yeah. And what was your conclusion? They were delicious. I know, you loved them. The sausage and the eggs? Yes. Yes. And the egg that we had, coincidentally, was a duck egg. So. All right. So I'm going to take a little taste test here myself for you guys. Here's some of the sausage. I think this sausage in this jar was the... I forget which one this was. I like it. It definitely needs to soak a little longer. Get a little bit more of that flavor in there. And I'm liking this idea of going and poking holes into the egg itself. I'm not getting a ton of heat. I can taste the Franks. I can taste the vinegar. Um, and so uh, I think it's really good. I just I think it could absorb some more flavor. And if I did it again, I might even use more hot sauce. But this this is really good. I'm, I'm really digging that. What do you got in your hand, Grace? A bag. She's already got a bag to pack an egg for tomorrow's lunch. And sausage. And sausage. I love it. <laughs> oh, and I'm packing stuff for the dentist tomorrow. Actually, on Tuesday. <laughs> All right. That's it, guys. Pickled eggs, Frank's hot sauce. It's a hit. Um, generally speaking, we like it. I think overall, TJ has not been liking pickled eggs lately. Is that right, TJ? Yeah, I don't care for them too much. And so it wasn't a big surprise that he didn't care for the pickled egg. Um, he did like the sausage, though, and I'm pretty sure he liked the last batch of pickled sausage that I made as well. So it's a hit around here. Let's see if I can actually convince Jenny to try some. That'll be fun. Hey, and if I didn't mention it before, the packaging on these sausages states that it's fully cooked to begin with. I'm pretty sure I mess, me, mentioned that, but I just want to say that the packaging said that these were fully cooked. Come on, baby, try a piece of sausage. <laughs> I don't want to. It Come on, for the, just, for the, just for the experimental fact. <laughs> Everybody loves the sausage. Um, TJ doesn't like the eggs. I understand. I understand you might not like the eggs, but you it could. It doesn't even look good. Yeah, it does. You can do it. What is in it? Vinegar. I don't even know what it is. Why is it red? Frank's hot sauce. We have a dog that's going off trying to get eat, trying to eat dinner. Come on, show me your face, mom. <laughs> what did you just say? Mama, show me your face. <laughs> I don't like it. I didn't think you would, but I'm glad you tried it. I think I would like it <clears throat> without vinegar, which makes it not pickled. <laughs> well, except that the hot sauce is vinegar based, I'm pretty sure. Um, so you're thinking, you're thinking do a batch just in hot sauce. Oh, Jenny's got me thinking now. <laughs> Grace, what did you just try a bite of? A onion. You tried to buy one of the onions in there and you liked that? Alright, let's see if Andrew likes it. 
it's a little, it has a little bit of spice. He put the whole thing. I thought he was going to take a bite. What do you think? Good. Good? All right. What? All right, TJ wants to try onion too. TJ suspects he'll like the onion. Those are good. That's good. Now imagine, we're not going to do it right now because I don't want to no. go through all my stores here, but imagine a piece of onion with a piece of sausage at the same time. That'd be good. That'd be good. Imagine a piece of onion on a piece of sausage on an egg. Mm. Um, <laughs> That'd be good to me. Oh yeah, to you. <laughs> All right, we're gonna finish this up with me trying some onion. That's good. That's really good. I think I think it absorbed, which kind of makes sense. A lot more vinegar than the hot sauce, but good stuff. Pickled everything all around. Good stuff. Thanks, guys. <laughs>